This is Josh from Plugin Machine. It's becoming more common in WordPress plugins uh, for the settings screen to be uh, built more like a single page React app. That allows uh, for good developer experience and a great user experience. They're not jumping between screens, waiting for, you know, click the tab, but it's really a link to another page. You gotta wait for that to load, which can be pretty slow in the WordPress admin. So having it as a dynamic React app can be really helpful. I'm gonna show you in this video how to get started with that. Uh, for uh, using plugin machine. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click this create new plugin button on the side and we'll call this one asteroid. I was just reading about the one that hit near Pittsburgh and make a big noise. Um, so we'll just give it a name. Ah, uh, no, this is a new one. I click choose to add new features. So that brings up the screen in a second where I'll choose this here. Admin menu pages. I could also do blocks or custom post types or whatever. But click save. Check those are correct. And then here it'll give me an option for admin menu pages. I'll click edit. I would see a list if I had some, but I don't. So new. We'll call this like settings page. Uh, menu title settings page. This is what's going to show up. This is going to be the slug. Uh, I don't need to use React for settings pages on a plugin machine, but it is an option. So save. Go back. And let's just go ahead and download this here. And I can open that up in VS Code. Okay, so let's got this opened up here. Let's copy that into the terminal to install everything, okay, it's good. And then we're gonna build the JavaScript just once. Oh. So we have the, uh, great, so now we have these uh, development files here in build. Um, and those are already set up to get enqueued using um, WP register script, and it's going to pull in the dependencies and everything that are calculated for uh, install. And so uh, that also has some basic API routes um, to get the settings. And uh, for this screen, I just have returning a hard code or hard coded array you could read from an option here. Um, and there's also a post endpoint uh, for updating. Doesn't do much, but um, if we load up the local development site, I'll just copy this stuff here. It's gonna take a second. It's gonna start this up. Uh, the local development site um, here, which right. So we gotta install, but. Also want to show you that there is a WordPress uh, CLI, WP CLI container, and I can actually just use that to um, install the site uh, and add a user. All right, so that installs WordPress. And this was generated these commands with all the correct uh, values. So now I have a username admin pass. This is now configured admin. Go ahead and activate that plugin. And I have the settings page. And you'll notice it's um, pretty basic, but and we get this update in state locally. And I'll show you how that works. And then it saves. All right, it just sends the data over. Um, look at how this is set up here. Um, starting with index.js, this has two functions, which um, are only need to be created once it happens before React starts up. Uh, one for getting the settings, one for updating the settings. Um, and because I'm using the API fetch, WordPress's API fetch, it has the nonce for authentication added. Um, so I pass those down to the main app component. Uh, and then I had just do some basic React there to have some place where settings are stored. Um, it has a setter, and so uh, I use the use effect to call that right when it's loaded. Um, set the settings from the remote. There's a little loading spinner um, here, you know, if we're still loading, and then just the settings. So you can 
start playing around. There's no CSS or anything here, but if you um, included a CSS, a, a SCSS file, um, it would enqueue that as well. Um, since everything you need to start developing a you know mini React app with uh, REST API endpoints for getting and setting um, everything, uh, just click yarn start here and the development watcher goes and starts and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching. If you like and subscribe for more videos about how to use plugin machine.